We can just add the view here. And we're going to add some fields. Do a search for a body. Add that. We're also going to do the post date. And we'll add the link. It's going to be content link. Apply that. And for the body field, we do not want to create a label. We'll use the summary or trimmed formatter. And we'll set the length to just 300. Apply that. Now for the link, we do not want to create a label. And the text to display will be read more. And finally, the post date, we do not want to create a label. And for the format, I'm going to use a custom format. And do M slash D slash capital Y. And if you're not familiar with PHP date formats, you can click this link and go to the PHP manual. Basically, this is going to display the month slash day slash year. And I'll apply that. All right, let's save the view. So now we're looking a little closer. Uh, I want this date to be at the top. So let me go ahead and rearrange that real quick. For our fields, we'll click rearrange. And let's do the title and then the post date and then the body and the link. Cool. All right, so that looks a little better. Now I've got a slideshow of our five most recent blog posts. We could then tweak this just like we did with the image slideshow by doing something like adding a pager. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll edit the view. We'll add a new field. Add the view result counter. We don't want to create a label. We will exclude from display. And we'll apply that. Then in the format settings, scroll down. And let's put it in the top widgets, add a pager, select our view result counter, and apply all displays. Oh, and I need to rewrite these as links so that they look better to the user. So we'll go ahead and go in there, expand the rewrite results. I'll put this field as a link. And again, I'll just use pound pager, apply. Now they're going to be links. All right, so let's go ahead and save this and take a look at what we've got. Let me scroll down. Now when you view the block, we have a pager. And as you can see, the pager is using the styles we set up when we set the pager for the image slideshow. But they don't look all that great for this slideshow. So let's make a couple of adjustments to this specific slideshow. Head over to Espresso for our CSS editing. And we'll add something like this. If I save that, head back over and refresh. Now we have a pager at the top, and we can page through the most recent five articles. Keep in mind, this is just one way that you can use View Slideshow to display a content slideshow. And I hope that you can use this and run with it and use it however you would like for your project.